All right, Shalom Boaz here, and uh, I am out here, and I just now got back on the land, and I walked in, and I saw the flock uh, at the front of the property, and uh, of course, they're eating some nice, good old grass and leaves from broken trees. But they are healthy. And doing, you see you see how big she is? I mean, she's about to drop again. Uh, I figure this year we'll hit. Uh, got one more birthing cycle. And then in January. So by this year, we'll hit uh, about 45. Uh, a flock of 45. And, you know, this is a nice size flock now, but the ultimate goal was to get it up to at least 40. That means 40, uh, 39 or 38 ewes and two rams. And if you know anything about gestation periods and stuff, you know, they're about to drop again probably next month. I mean, they're all looking nice and plump. But, um... Look at them. You could just tell they're all pregnant. Every single one of them. I mean, you could just tell, you know, they all about to drop. They should start at the end of this month. But, I mean, you know, time just goes by because they have a five-month gestation period. And uh, that ram is doing his job. Uh, but it's just all about hitting goals. I mean, you know, the goal was to have a flock of 40. And I started out with three baby lambs and a ram. Uh, they were all about six months old. And what you see here is a direct culmination uh, of those births uh, and that growth in that original flock. Now, I have changed out my ram. And uh, well, that's another video. Uh, but it's good depending on the size of your flock to, you know, change out rams. But the idea is that it's a beautiful thing to hit a goal. I mean, it is just something that is, if you've hit a goal, uh, a worthwhile goal, you know what it feels like. And so it's just a beautiful thing to be able to come home to a nice green pasture and see the flock growing. And uh, get the increase. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, the people that I use to butcher uh, my lambs, because I don't butcher the lambs. I mean, I can, uh, but that's not a skill set that I have uh, developed yet. Interesting, right? No, but I don't know how to get that rack of lamb and them lamb chops, and I don't have the machine to get that ground. But I know how to butcher, and I do butcher the goats, and I... Uh, I do butcher uh, the deer as well as the chickens or turkey or whatever. You know, I know how to butcher all of that stuff. But uh, the place where I process my lambs, uh, she called me up because she needs a whole bunch of work done on the place that uh, the facility that processes, you know, they process goat, they process uh, sheep, they process Cows, of course, they process pig. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. And this is what it's all about. It's about that local economy. It's about uh, that self-sufficiency. It's about that success that you experience. When you are focused and you have a vision and you're getting that vision done and you're seeing the fruit, you're seeing the increase of that, uh, month over month, year after year. I mean, just clear, definitive growth. And that's what you want to see. Uh, you know, it does take time, but you can do it. Uh, there's nothing like the feeling of success of hitting that goal. And many more goals will be hit this year. You know, as inflation tears up the average American family, I thank y'all. For being able to understand what needed to be done in order to shield myself and my family, those loved ones and those brothers and those sisters and those people who uh, understand what's going on.
and how to get ahead of this thing. Huh. My sheep will hear my voice, but a stranger's voice, you know, they will not follow. This is serious. I mean, but, you know, you know, you got to thank y'all if you are in a position to uh, lead a different life. A more peaceful life, a more sustainable life. I mean, it's it's hard work. Believe you me. And I understand why a lot of people don't, don't do it, because uh, primarily, first and foremost, it's hard work. That's the biggest thing that keep people out of this thing. And But, you know, there's only going to be a few. There's only going to be uh, uh, those who get it and understand it and uh, be, you know, will be shielded from it. Because, you know, you see what's going on in this country. <sighs> it's one thing to hear. Uh, on Fox News or CNN uh, that inflation is doing X, Y, Z to half of the American population. The average Joe on the street, half of them are hurting. Man, woman, children. So who do you think is hurting the most, right? Or who's at the lowest end of this totem pole in this country? The black man or the black woman, an African-American man, a Mafra, or whatever you want to call it, the Hebrew Israel, or whatever you want to call them, they're right there at the bottom. And I'm telling you, man, it's serious. And so it's one thing to hear it on TV or on the news or on YouTube. It's another thing to put a face to it. And I'm telling you, man, I'm putting faces to this thing. And it is real. And it's, and it's there and it's evident. Hey. For those who have the ears to hear, uh, I tell you, blessed. Be a doer. Get it done. Experience success.